is what do you do when you have no one who shares the same views as you, who wants to make the change like you? Is it better to be alone than with bad company? This is a really important question, and I'm glad it was brought up because I would say it absolutely is better to be alone than with bad company. And sometimes it is in the times when you are alone that you are closest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in fact, even if you have good company, this is, I want to stress this, even if you have good company, it does not substitute for the time alone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Everyone needs, if you want to get, if you really want to build your relationship with Him, everyone needs that time alone with Allah. And this sometimes happens in the last third of the night, in Qiyam, in whatever time it is after Fajr, that you have a time where uh, even if it's after, even if it's after Salah and you're just making dua, you have time alone, you're reading Quran, that that time cannot be replaced, even if you have the best of company, even in, even if, if, if you're surrounded with shayukh who are teaching you, it still cannot replace that time alone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I can't emphasize that enough. So with regards to having bad company, and it it may be that this is Allah is doing this for a reason, and it may be part of your training that you need to be alone for a while, and that you don't have uh, the good company, and therefore you will have to be um, on your own for a while. And sometimes this becomes a blessing, really, uh, because what it does is sometimes it builds your relationship with Allah even faster and stronger than if you did have company. Well, Allah Ta'ala Alam, you ask Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for you and to guide you to that which he which pleases him most. Um, but for sure, you want to avoid the bad company. Um, and definitely it is better to be alone than with bad company.